Welcome to the Chemotherapy Education Program. You are viewing this presentation because your physician would like to start you on a chemotherapy regimen known as GA or GEMNAB. During this class, personal information may be shared by attendees. Because this information is sensitive, only share what you are comfortable with others knowing. During this presentation, we will review the basics of chemotherapy. We will also provide additional tips and resources. A member of your care team will answer your questions at the end of this presentation. You will receive several handouts that will provide additional information about your chemotherapy and how to manage side effects. Additional education materials are available upon request. We will first discuss what medicines are included in your chemotherapy. You will learn how and when they are given and where chemotherapy is usually administered. In general, chemotherapy refers to a group of medicines that are used to kill cancer cells. Chemotherapy can be used in combinations and may be combined with other medicines known as targeted therapies to kill cancer cells in different ways. Your chemotherapy regimen consists of two medicines. One is called gemcitabine, and the other is called nab paclitaxel or abraxine or paclitaxel protein bound. You may hear your chemotherapy regimen referred to as GA or GEMNAB. Chemotherapy is usually given in the Ambulatory Treatment Center or ATC. Your chemotherapy infusion appointments will appear on your schedule that you can access online. While printed copies of your appointments are available, schedules for appointments online are updated in real time. For more information about the location and process of receiving treatment in the ATC, Ask your care team or ask for the handout entitled, Welcome to the Ambulatory Treatment Center. Your chemotherapy will be given into a vein. Most patients do not require placement of a central line in the form of a PICC line or a port calf Talk to your doctor if you have questions about specific IV lines. The GA regimen can be given every two weeks on day one or every three weeks on days one and eight. This two- or three-week time period is called a cycle. Your doctor will decide the best schedule for you. For each treatment day, you will be at the ATC for about three to four hours. Most patients will see their doctor before each new cycle of chemotherapy. Blood work is required before starting each new cycle. If you are scheduled to see your doctor the same day as your treatment, you will see your doctor first. Contact the clinic immediately if you are feeling unwell. Do not wait until your next clinic visit. Use MyChart to contact your provider about non-urgent questions regarding your treatment plan, scheduling questions, or medicine refills. You can also reach the GI clinic by calling the number on the screen. Your care team will provide you with the Gastrointestinal Oncology Department contact sheet. The next part of this presentation will review side effects associated with GA chemotherapy. You will also learn how to manage some of these side effects at home. Before we talk about specific side effects, please keep in mind that people can have different reactions to chemotherapy. Most side effects are temporary and can be managed at home or by your care team. We will review the most common side effects. Serious but rare side effects will also be discussed to help you know when to seek urgent medical attention. Your chemotherapy can potentially cause nausea and or vomiting. We commonly give IV medicines at the start of each infusion appointment to prevent nausea. Listed are some examples of medicines you may receive. Ondansetron and dexamethasone are standard anti-nausea medicines for everyone receiving GA. In case you develop nausea away from the hospital, your oncologist will prescribe medicines like ondansetron or procloperazine that you can take by mouth. Each medicine works differently, and your prescription bottle will indicate how often you can take each medicine. Only take these nausea medicines if you have nausea. Your white blood cells, which help the body fight off infection, will fall after you receive chemotherapy. You can reduce the risk of infection by practicing healthy hygiene habits, such as washing your hands regularly 
and avoiding contact with people who are sick. Keep an oral thermometer with you. If you develop a fever of 101 degrees Fahrenheit, 38.3 degrees Celsius, or higher, this may be a sign of infection. Immediately go to the nearest hospital emergency center. You may have anemia if your red blood cell count is low. This usually can result in fatigue, dizziness, or shortness of breath. We encourage patients to stay active and do light exercise in between chemotherapy treatments, but take care not to overdo it. Patients with low platelet counts may bruise more easily or take more time to recover from scrapes and cuts. Before each dose of chemotherapy, you will complete lab work to check your blood counts. GA may cause decreased liver function. This side effect is rare. You will have blood tests to monitor liver function. Avoid heavy drinking of alcoholic beverages such as beer, wine, and liquor. Contact your care team if you notice dark urine, yellowing of the eyes or skin, or excessive fatigue. NAB paclitaxel may cause numbness and tingling of the hands and feet or neuropathy. This is a gradual side effect that may get worse over time as you receive more doses of NAB paclitaxel. It is important to talk with your care team at each visit about the severity of neuropathy and whether it is affecting your quality of life. You may experience mild muscle and joint pain the day of and the day after the infusion. This side effect is usually short-term and can resolve without treatment. Tell your care team if your symptoms are severe or last longer than the first few days. NAB paclitaxel may cause total hair loss in some patients. It may take up to three to four weeks before you notice hair loss. Hair loss is usually temporary and begins to regrow after stopping treatment. MD Anderson's Beauty and Barbershop provides complimentary wigs, hats, and scarves. It's open Monday through Friday in the main building on the sixth floor. Gemcitabine is usually well tolerated, but some side effects include flu-like symptoms and fluid retention. Flu-like symptoms include body aches, headaches, fatigue, low-grade fever, and or chills. These symptoms often occur between 1 to 72 hours after the infusion and gradually resolve without treatment. Rest well during this period and contact your care team if symptoms get worse. Some patients may notice swelling in both of their ankles. This side effect is typically mild and does not require treatment. Report any swelling to your care team at your next visit. Let's take a moment to talk about your safety at MD Anderson. To ensure the safest approach to administering the right dose of chemotherapy to the right person at the right time, several steps are in place at MD Anderson to ensure high-quality health care. In fact, multiple providers review and sign off on your treatment to guarantee the highest level of accuracy. You and your family members and caregivers have a role to play as well. Always check that your identification wristband is correctly labeled with your name and medical record number. Every provider should confirm your identity and all medicines should be correctly labeled and identified for you. Before finishing, we want to share some helpful tips and resources. You may want to pack a bag to take with you to the infusion center. Some examples are listed here. Free Wi-Fi and television are available in the center during your treatment. We recommend that you eat before your treatment, but you may also eat or drink while receiving chemotherapy. Drink lots of water before your treatment. This helps make your veins easier to find. For more information, visit the Learning Center. It is a free health library that offers information about cancer treatment, coping, and general health. We hope this video helps prepare you for chemotherapy. If you have any questions, please ask a member of your care team.